MRIN stock, Marine Software Inc., is currently up 28.02% in this session of the 30th of July 2021, trading at $8.27. dollars 47 million shares have crossed the tape so far. And uh, the folks at uh, Investment Place, Investor Place, have this piece. They wrote about um, Marine Software, about uh, how um, it's been fluctuating at some points uh, in uh, on the 24th of June it shot up to a high of $27 and has since retraced so it has gained uh, over 225 percent to since the beginning of the year and um, it's definitely was a candidate for short squeeze by uh, a lot of uh, recent market participants and you know, we also had about its Instacart ad integration. And then they have here its uh, financial performance. This is uh, Marin reported its disappointing first quarter results back in May. It posted revenues of $6.3 million, which declined by 27% from the prior year period. Moreover, its uh, gap and in spare share loss was 20, 21 cents representing a negative net income of $2.2 million. COVID the disruptions in the past year had a crippling impact on the advertising model, which led to a steep decline in number of advertising sales. On the liquidity front, it ended the quarter with $14.7 million in cash against uh, $1.7 million in long-term debt. A current ratio approximately 1.8 times and suggest that it has enough financial flexibility for at least a year. So some of these um, issues it has, this, uh, this the uncertainty, the, the fact that um, its uh, first quarter results were quite disappointing, um, brings um, this other news to our attention. It says here, okay, it has, it's an option news. It says uh, Marine Software's August 7.5, a strado priced for a move of uh, plus or minus 33 percent into the expected release of uh, quarter results after the bell on july 30th so uh, a strado obviously entails a buying a call and put of the same strike that allows the holder to profit based on how much the price of the underlying security moves regardless of the direction of the price movement it's okay so let's digest what this is saying um, August 7.5 straddle priced for a move of 30.4 sorry 30 plus or minus 33 percent into the expected release of uh, quarter results after the bail on uh, July 30th so today it's, it's, it's expected to release results at the close of this session so let's look look at that August 7.5 uh, straddle that's the 7.5 so what, what do we have here? We, okay, maybe they have uh, some data there, but um, we can only see a volume of uh, 2,425. Open interest is um, 1,344. Okay, I guess they have also probably moved on towards the 10, the 10 uh, strike for this August 20th. So we are working okay, on the, we can only see open interest of 4,000, volume of uh, 10,000, so more on the call side. But um, well, indeed, there might be some straddles that we haven't um, um, really seen anything. But in any case, I think the most popular for that August 20th is that uh, August is the, is the 10 strike, followed by the, the 7.5 itself. Okay, so. Um, but in any case, let's uh, look at what's going on live for Marine Software. So it's, it's up 23.27%. This is what's going on. It's, uh, for, the, for the one minute model, it is uh, in the near term. It is uh, in the short term, it's quite bearish. You can see the the momentum is uh, oversold. For the 14 period slows, calculator is indicating the stock is oversold. Obviously, my D's below the signal line, RSI, is uh, almost at 30 at 35.43 so let's look at the one the daily model and see what's going on there the stock has also in, obviously been declining this was since the july has been declining you know 
and it's only just of late that it is uh, trying to pick up got some support from around the 50 dollar 50 move 50 day moving average but on the line trend is is is, uh, is still a bullish one because you know it ran up uh, over 225 percent in just one year alone or since this year alone so you can imagine that um, um this this sort of um, any retracement at all this month would not be enough to dent that underlying underlying trend but the short time trends are uh, uh, of, a, of a bearish type so okay so we can also see that uh, MACD is clearly below the signal line and um, momentum is also poor as well RSI is just slightly improving there you know so it's up 22.95 percent at some point we had recorded 95 percent 28 to 28 percent so um, the, the market is closing in a few minutes in a f an hour and a few minutes um, so let's see what's uh, going to happen there you know let's see what's going to happen well if you really want to get involved with the stock um, what, what do I say what do I say yeah you could you could do that you could do you could absolutely um, you could actually um, um, you know you could absolutely yes if you really want to get involved by all means you know you know do it for at least for the long term for the long term there's a good chance of uh, things will get better for the stock you know don't underrate it you know don't um, um, um yes don't you know and um, the fact that um, we have we have seen the stock uh, reach at some point 24 dollars there's a good chance you know these are these are the things uh, that uh, market participants are looking looking at you know and it has this short interest of about uh, 21 percent you know when you combine that skepticism and the fact that the company is also, you know, you know, doing its best with uh, with uh, its uh, advertised model, you know, yes, you know, there's a good chance it has it has um, the promises there, you know. So if you're really gonna get involved, by all means, so do so for the long term. So I know, I know, in, um, we may be expected to provide a, f a price target. Let's see whether there's any price target here. Okay, we can't see any price target, but um, we can see two ratings here. Um, okay, they all hold ratings. Okay, but okay, well, I can't really say. I think uh, in the in the in the coming months, at least up close to August, there's a good chance it will extend up to uh, close to at least um, nine dollars before the end of August. There's a good chance it will get to nine dollars you know. so the skepticism is uh, stacked up in the um, short uh, volumes short interests so that is that's a plus those are bullish um, 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 uh, bull, those are bullish um, 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 they, they have the that they has it the, the short volumes have uh, bullish implications so and uh, if you on the technical side of, 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 of things so yes you know um, by all means by all means get involved you know there's a good chance it will you know um, uh, if you, speaking of that speaking of that 21% uh, short interest we're looking at uh, 40 million dollars locked up in the stock so and it also has a relatively small float of uh, 10.967 million um, um, 10.967 million shares so if you want to plug in back um, another 14 million to the stock up by all by all means the stock would definitely respond with uh, an extension that is definitely more than 20 percent we're looking at right now so uh, yes if it's for the long term that will be excellent you know but if you're there to play the stock for you know the short term even though some some of these uh, some experts are saying uh, it's uh, not it's okay well some experts are saying that it is indeed for the short term so we are we on we we are in agreement in that regard so for the short term yes the stock can definitely reach um, um, nine dollars in the, in the very short time so um, yes Let's get involved and see what's going to happen and um, thank you very much for watching this video